Korean barbecue is a new thing. It's a new phenomenon really in Korean cuisine in a way that's Korean and yet at the same time it's very American. And you are in control. You cook the meat the way that you want. In a day when we're mostly left to the mercy of restaurant kitchens to prepare our meals, Korean barbecue is a completely immersive act of tableside cooking. When Korean immigrants landed in America in the early 70s, they discovered that Korean flavors went spectacularly well with high quality chicken, pork, and especially beef, which is still considered a luxury item in Korea. Los Angeles is truly the epicenter for Korean barbecue because of the large number of immigrant restaurateurs willing to gamble on the meaty format and an increasingly rabid fan base of tabletop barbecue aficionados. Still, it can be a bit intimidating and new for people who haven't seen it before. So, in this series, we're going to take a deep look at Korean barbecue. Super Jeep is its kind of an old school joint. It's super simple, charcoal right in the middle of the grill. I mean, it's funny, when you, when you sit down, they give you a little empty cup of ice, and you're like, what is that doing there? Is that for my drink? No, it's actually for the grill, because you need to throw some of this on to make sure the place doesn't burn down. It keeps the fire in check. We got the punch on here. It's all out in full glory. This is called pechu kimchi, which is made with na napa cabbage. What they do here, oh man, it's funky, it's good. The most important panchan. We got some bean sprouts, spinach, garlic. Very, very important. You got sanjang. This thing is fermented bean paste. You take a little dab of this, you wanna have it with your barbecue. Musenche, which is thinly shaved Korean daikon radish. This is mul kimchi. Water kimchi is the direct translation. These are the things that basically like modify each bite. All right, the fire is hot, it's ready to go. Their signature dish here is the pork baby back ribs. It comes on the bone and it's kind of cut in a flap. So when they slap it on, it grills really evenly. There's a very light marinade, so it's just a hint of sweetness. It's exactly what you want from pork kalbi. Now generally, you want to start out with something that's a little bit less marinated because you don't want that sugar and that, that marinade or what other spices are on the meat to overwhelm the grill and coat it. And I'm not, I'm not going to be scared of the little charred bits. The reason why that's happening is because there's a little bit of sugar in the marinade. As the meat was cooking, I started cutting it off the bone and cutting them into smaller pieces. That way it'll cook more evenly. You know, when they start getting ready to, to be eaten, I move them to the side a little bit. That way they won't cook as quickly. This is cut into a bite-sized piece. What I like to do is just take a little bit of sauce and just have it straight up. Mm. You get a little bit of that crispy bit from the char. The pork itself is super juicy and tender. It's got a nice sweetness. It's almost like having a, a burnt end from a barbecue joint. That's really the main benefit of coming to a place like Super Jeep, because you do get that really strong coal flavor that you don't really get from a gas-only type of place. I'm gonna go for my first sam. Sam means wrap in Korean. It's almost like a, it's like a taco, really. It's like a taco is just a complete food. Pro tip, cut it in half, take a little bit of meat, dip it in the marinade. You can have some raw garlic, sanjang, maybe a little piece of kimchi. When you cut the lettuce into a smaller piece, you can actually eat it in one bite. Here we go. Mm, freaking, it's freaking great. Sam, it's kind of increasingly hard to find in some of the newer Korean barbecue places. To me, it's just pure old school. We're gonna have the pork bulgogi next. Nicely marinated. It's got a lot more flavor, and especially when it hits the grill, it's gonna get nice and seared. Woo! Ribbons of pork. It's gonna have a little bit of gochujang. Gochujang is a Korean condiment that's made with red chili. It's like Korean ketchup. <laughs> As I said earlier, you don't really need to fiddle with it too much, but make sure it's arranged so that there's space in between the meat. As the pork starts to steer, we're gonna start flipping it over. Oh yeah, there you go, see? There's so much marinade on this pork, so it's gonna char really nicely. And as the meat starts cooking, then you can start busting out the scissors and cutting them into smaller pieces. Except my fingers are burning. All right, so the meat's done. I'm gonna take it off the grill. I'm gonna go for a bite, just straight up. It's much more tender than the, the spare ribs. And you get that immediate kick from the gochujang. You know, just a little bit brown. It doesn't taste burned or anything. I didn't overcook it either, thankfully. No one's gonna say no to Korean barbecue unless you've had it like for lunch. It's always good. If you wanna watch more videos from Eater, click right here. A little patience, we're gonna come over here and make a sauce. I like to use gojujang, which is uh, a Korean chili paste. Just a light drizzle of glue dash 10 free dumplings crispy chicken skin is the wrapper 